At uh, Lauren Bear Sticker joining us for a look at what's making headlines. Uh, Lauren, starting with uh, f what's happening here in France, many Macron under pressure um, as the Benalla scandal continues to unfold. Yes, the scandal keeps getting bigger and bigger. And uh, Alexandre Benalla finally broke his silence yesterday and gave a lengthy interview to uh, Le Monde where he justified his actions but didn't convince everyone. Uh, he clearly, uh, well, French Daily Libération uh, analyzes his version and incoherences, uh, where the former bodyguard says, for example, that the chokehold he inflicts on a demonstrator, which we can see in the, in the famous video, was the same gesture as the one he used to protect Emmanuel Macron when he was pelted by eggs last year. Um, clearly, uh, it's a dubious claim, uh, especially when looking at the two videos next uh, side by side. Uh, Benalla also denounced an attempt by the media and the public to hurt the president and said he was targeted as the weak link in that strategy. And Benalla not sounding too contrite, though, in that interview. Could he be trying to play down or minimize the controversy? Well, that seems to be the line also employed by Emmanuel Macron. Uh, as the president said, uh, he takes full responsibility for what happened, but uh, basically said nothing really happened. Uh, the Le Parisien says this is a risky gamble for, for Macron. It could pay off and people might forget about the incident soon or, as it seems to be the case uh, currently, this will only further stoke public anger. Opposition rallying against him on this one too. Yes. Well, moving on now to Mali, which is bracing for a defining presidential election this Sunday. What are the main issues and challenges leading up to this vote? Well, security will be at the heart of this election. Uh, as the country has been marred by a protracted conflict uh, with jihadist groups, rebel groups, and uh, tribal groups as well. Uh, French daily La Croix calls it the sick man of the Sahel region, uh, underlining the failure by Ibrahim Boubacar Keita, the current president, uh, to tackle the, the security issue, uh, which was something he promised to do in 2013 when he was elected. Uh, the country is becoming increasingly fragmented with the north, uh, basically a no man's land, a war zone, uh, the center of the country, a breeding ground for rebel groups and separatists, and the capital, Bamako, uh, where life continues as if nothing happens. So what does that mean for the election? Well, that means, um, first of all, the opposition uh, seems as fragmented as the country with 24 candidates running for president. Uh, this actually gives uh, Ibrahim Boubacar Keita the edge as uh, one of the favorites. Uh, but it will definitely be a challenge for him to unite such a fragmented country. All right, moving on now. Change of pace, a new show in the United States by comedian Sasha Baron Cohen has landed the resignation of a Georgia politician. You may remember Sasha Baron Cohen from the Ali G show or Borat, two of his very famous characters. Or Bruno. <laughs> or Bruno, uh, less famous, but also uh, very funny. And his new show, he poses as an Israeli security expert and pranks politicians, uh, especially Republicans. Uh, for example, here in this, uh, in this episode, uh, Republican um, state representative Jason Spencer uh, repeatedly shouted the N-word, made an extremely racist impersonation of a Chinese tourist, and uh, in a completely surreal scene, pulled his pants down uh, while chanting USA, USA in order to scare off terrorists. Uh, you can see the whole thing online, but it's very hard to watch. And of course, um, Jason Spencer resigned uh, shortly after. Hard to watch, but that's part of the appeal of Sasha Baron Cohen. He shows you things that you wouldn't see anywhere else. Well, to Israel now, where a cartoonist was fired over a caricature of Benjamin Netanyahu. Yes, it was this drawing that sparked the outrage. Uh, well, here we see um, it references another picture uh, of Netanyahu and Likud members taking, <coughs> I'm sorry, taking a selfie. Uh, but it's also reference to George Orwell's Animal Farm and has the famous quote, all animals are equal, but some are more equal than others. And now, uh, the outrage didn't come from the Orwell reference, but from the fact that pigs are considered an impure animal in Judaism. The Jerusalem Report, which published the original cartoon, uh, said it wouldn't hire the cartoonist again. But since then, there has been a wave of support with a crowdfunding page being set up and at least one other journalist resigning in protest. Yeah, in protest to freedom of spe uh, speech, presumably. Finally, some advice on where to watch tonight's lunar eclipse. Sadly, from what I understand, 
Not going to be a good uh, spot to watch it here in France. We're too far north. Well, France is doing better than others, but uh, it's true the best place to watch it will be further south uh, in Africa, uh, specifically Madagascar and the Reunion. Um, but uh, the blood moon will last nearly two hours, which will make it the longest in a uh, century. Uh, so that means we'll have plenty of time, but it unfortunately also means it will be a bit smaller and dimmer than usual. Uh, the United States uh, will uh, have a very bad view of the event, apparently, uh, and they'll have to wait till January 2019 for the next one. 2019, are you going to try to watch it tonight? Uh, I'll, I'll try. We'll see. We'll see if we can find a good spot. All right. Thank you, Lauren. Lauren Bersicker with the look of what's making headlines. That's all for now. Please stay tuned to France 24.